The Union Cabinet on Wednesday approved the National Green Hydrogen Mission, allocating 19,744 crores rupees to produce 5 million tons of green hydrogen annually by 2030. Of the total allocation, the government would provide incentives worth 17,490 crore rupees for producing electrolyzers and green hydrogen for five years, 1,466 crore rupees for pilot projects, 400 crore rupees for research and development, and 388 crores rupees for other mission components, government statement said, adding that the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy MNRE, will formulate the guidelines for implementation of the respective components of the scheme. Let us learn more about this historic decision to invest in the green sector and its implications for our economy. Vineet Mittal, chairman of Avada Group, a green energy developer said the mission will provide a much-needed boost to encourage the green hydrogen industry. This intervention is even more significant because it comes at a time India has the G20 presidency, clearly showcasing India's commitment to lead the global energy transition. Mint first reported the government's plans to develop a green hydrogen program on 1st July 2021. On 24th October 2022, Mint had also reported that the National Green Hydrogen Mission would be allocated around 20,000 crore rupees. The central government expects the mission to attract investments worth 8 trillion rupees by 2030 and create about 600,000 jobs. Addressing reporters after the cabinet meeting, Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Thakur said that the mission would also result in a reduction in CO2 emission by nearly 50 million tons annually and save India 1 trillion rupees in its fossil fuel imports. The mission aims to make India a hub for manufacturing and exporting green hydrogen. It will help the country achieve its target of becoming energy independent by 2047 and also achieve the vision of Atnirbhar Bharat Thakur said. The mission will also support pilot projects in emerging end use sectors. In addition, regions suitable for large scale production and use of hydrogen will be identified and developed as green hydrogen hubs. The draft National Green Hydrogen Policy was released in February last year. Rajat Seksriya, Chief Executive Officer of Acme Group, said that the incentive program makes the green molecule from India competitive. This is required for the initial few projects and create green hydrogen hubs, which will allow supply chains to be established and scale of production to increase. Several nations have already come up with green hydrogen subsidies and support programs, he said.